Jackson, Bungoma Governor Ken Lusaka now claims that his competitor, Wycliffe Wangamati, supporters unleashed a swarm of bees on his convoy in an incident that resulted to chaos that ended up claiming the life of one woman. Meanwhile, a Kibwezi East Member of Parliament, Jessica Mbalu, was talked of her lack of trust in men, including her own husband, after her competitor, Philip Kaloki, supporters allegedly attempted to rape her. These are some of the issues narrated to the IBC's Code of Conduct Enforcement Committee meeting chaired by Wafula Chabukati when 14 candidates appeared before it to answer to charges of electoral misconduct. Ken Lusaka informed the IBC's Code of Conduct Enforcement Committee that on the 2nd of June, after he was cleared by IBC to defend his seat on a jubilee ticket, weekly Fangamati supporters disrupted his convoy by unleashing a swarm of bees. And uh, people came out of the vehicles to try and uh, at least protect me, you know, so that we proceed. So as we moved a few steps, some other group appeared with bees, uh, which had been put in a paper, and I was on, on top of my vehicle. So they unleashed bees, and fortunately, I think the prayers were working. The bees <laughs> did not bite anyone. Those claims were, however, dismissed by Wangamati, who is seeking to unseat Lusaka on a Ford Kenya ticket. Wangamati, who was to hold a rally at Bungoma's bus station, about a kilometer from Poster Ground, where Lusaka was to hold his, said it was the governor's supporters who began attacking his convoy. The reason we're here is because his Ken Magalusaka followed us and they started beating our supporters and it can be proved here. And in, and, and, and Chair, one of the when, when when he went to address his rally, we have his speech here. He said, Sisi tulikuja patu kwacha mikono nyumbani. Showing that he was prepared for war. Lusaka maintained that being a Christian, he is a peacemaker and that whatever happened on that day caught him by surprise. A position rubbished by Wangamati, who informed the commission that everything was pre-planned. Somebody youths carrying sticks. These are sticks that were bought and given to youths. They, should, they would not have bought them in that particular day. They should, would have bought them in the previous day preparing for that violence on that particular day. It depends on what you want to see and what you want to present. So we also will give videos. Then you can look at them and see who are carrying maybe bigger rungus. Or, and, 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 and who are carrying stones because we also have videos and we are saying you know we are also not mad people just to follow people from behind and start beating them then came the case of Kibwezi East member of parliament Jesse Kambalu of Wiper Democratic Movement against her competitor Philip Kaloki of Jubilee in her submission Mbalu informed the committee of how Kaloki's supporters harassed her sexually they want to rape me the camera is you have children have women who support me, have sisters and I lead people. They were even finger pointing and saying, we want to. Mbalu father claimed that she now fears men, including her own husband. But Kaloki refuted Mbalu's claim, saying he's a family man and that he doesn't find fun in harassing women, with his lead counsel Solwa Silwa advising the committee against making determinations based on emotions. Yeah, I'm even scared of men. Even my own husband, he has, he has to be nearer to me for me to know he's my husband. I have a wife, I have a sister, my mother is still alive. I, I, I deal with the women, uh, I relate with them on a daily basis. The issues of intimidation, it is an issue of campaigning. A total of 14 candidates appeared before the committee and the decision shall be made between Thursday and Friday. If any shall be found guilty, he or she could be fined or barred from vying altogether. Shadrach Miti, KT News.